welcome uh, to the lecture 12 of ethical issues for modern computer professions in the last lecture uh, you have seen how discriminatory outcome can appear to be disastrous uh, for some individual uh, belonging to certain group uh, but uh, young technocrats like you uh, may not find these issues uh, worthy enough to show much attention i mean logic behind such uh, indifferences may be something like this uh, number one uh, occurrence of such imperfect outcome leading to discrimination is not very common i mean you may say that these are these are rare so accordingly you may advocate accepting such risk uh, for getting the bigger benefit of faster and automated solution uh, however uh, as mentioned in the last lecture uh, with the tremendous growth in the domain of application for such uh, AI ML based solutions uh, that include law enforcement, uh, employment, finance, healthcare, um, along, along, along with the gravity of uh, each of such cases uh, of discriminating outcome. Uh, I mean, even if the numbers of occurrences are small, but gravity of each of these uh, individual instances are very high. So we, we need to think beyond such oversimplified risk benefit analysis. Uh, your second logic may be that uh, this is not new. I mean, human decisions are often also biased. Uh, then these new softwares are not adding any new unpleasant experience uh, to society uh, the counter argument uh, to this second logic lies with the ability to explain the decision uh, i mean as per the prevailing social framework uh, human decisions uh, affecting the stakeholders uh, who, i mean who are at the receiving end uh, can be challenged i mean for example a defendant um, has every right uh, to to ask for explanation uh, if he or she gets some unfavorable uh, decisions like some punishment i mean this ethical moral values um, that is developed uh, over the years within the society the, it, it acts uh, as self-correcting mechanism against such uh, social discrimination uh, but I mean, uh, note that human understandable reasoning behind decisions um, is missing in, in most of the commercial black boxes that are being used i mean stakeholders at the receiving end uh, hardly gets any chance uh, to ask for explanation uh, of uh, any unfavorable decision he or she has received and with the increase in automated decisions um, and this type of systems affecting persons life uh, legally uh, financially or uh, socially i mean need for explaining the behavior of such systems are becoming um, very much important so ongoing trend of using more and more complex models and techniques uh, i mean to showcase so called uh, novelty of the solution uh, making these systems less and less transparent um, so transparency is another issue uh, unpredictability uh, this is another issue it's really difficult. I mean, uh, uh, the current trend, it's really difficult to apprehend when and why this type of automated system is going to fail. I mean, it's not always possible uh, to understand uh, whether a particular input instance, uh, what will be the output. 
whether it will be proper or uh, it will be imperfect you cannot say so even if you have very high accuracy but um, you cannot say for a particular instance whether uh, your results will be accurate or not so this kind of unpredictability is another issue of concern uh, it is also difficult to interpret the results of such systems sometimes i mean um, uh, it's a problem uh, when when these systems gets thing wrong uh, and it's basically it's it's very difficult to understand um, when it claims that it is um, getting things right I mean, so this interpretability is also issue. we'll see this this type of things later in detail but i think you have understood the point so all these issues uh, i mean together working against uh, obtaining the trust of the end users or the stakeholders who are at the receiving end basically because they are always afraid of getting some unfavorable decisions and uh, they don't know how to challenge or get, ask for explanation on these systems and often often uh, it is not the trust basically uh, but fear and lack of expertise uh, from these end users and forces them to accept uh, unfavorable decisions in fact uh, they are hardly in a position to understand how this system really work sometimes the user at the other end uh, who is using the system uh, like suppose for a recidivism uh, software the judge they are using the software to decide now uh, they also do not have much clue about how these systems really work and more interestingly believe me or not uh, in the era of deep learning i mean developers developing the product uh, by integrating several existing uh, models uh, this is the common trend also most of the time lack from proper understanding of uh, how the system actually work because this deep learning i mean it's very very um, deep and it's uh, hardly um, very few understand how it works actually so uh, this 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 is not a uh, good sign uh, for a healthy uh, technological ecosystem i should say so i mean uh, you i mean you mean i am talking about the future technocrats and at the same time the business organization uh, should not exploit end users blind faith uh, i mean actually that may be fear uh, making uh, your algorithms more complex does not necessarily um, bring objectivity or um, fairness so uh, i mean you cannot just outsource uh, your responsibilities to machine so uh, in order to achieve uh, trust of all the stakeholders uh, being at receiving end or the other end uh, you, you should understand and own up uh, to your moral responsibility Mm. Uh, you should make your product fair uh, should ensure meaningful transparency and algorithmic uh, accountability and you should be open up uh, for uh, accepting algorithmic auditing that will allow uh, you to understand the loopholes you are having and can uh, based on that audit input you can uh, modify and make your product more uh, robust and acceptable um, 
so uh, as as Vijay Saraswat, the chief scientist of IBM Compliance Solutions, has rightly pointed out the need of uh, instilling human values in our future AI product because uh, we are we are trying to apply AI everywhere uh, and so and uh, basically we want to replace uh, human intervention from almost everywhere but uh, so our technology should be enabled with uh, human values too in order to uh, be acceptable across uh, the society now it may sound over ambitious at present but uh, believe me we cannot disregard it so as a result uh, apart from accuracy i mean which is very common terms like fairness accountability transparency explainability uh, are drawing significant attention nowadays uh, in discussion about trust in ai ml based solutions mm, research and training on these topics have gained significant momentum in recent years and a number of conferences and workshops uh, have been started focusing on these areas uh, by several prestigious uh, research communities across the globe um, business organizations are also taking up these things seriously for example ibm have come up with an open source software toolkit named ai fairness 360 uh, that enables developers to use uh, state of the art methods to to check for unwanted biases uh, uh, from uh, entering their machine learning pipeline and and, and also to mitigate uh, any such bias that are found microsoft has also established a new group uh, to carry on active research on fairness accountability transparency and ethics in AI. Uh, apart from promoting in-house research uh, in this type of uh, topic, Google has introduced uh, a dedicated chapter on fairness uh, in their crash course. On you know, I mean, many of you used to refer this crash course, so uh, you may find there is a dedicated chapter is on fairness is available. Now, in the upcoming lectures. Uh, I will discuss the notion of fairness in automated decision making because these terms are new and uh, we should actually try to understand the notion of each and every term uh, in connection with this automated decision making and uh, the impact of uh, positive impact of achieving this kind of thing like fairness, transparency, accountability. Uh, so, in upcoming lectures, uh, I will not only discuss the notion of fairness in automated decision making, I will also discuss about the state of the techniques that are available or developed to achieve fairness uh, by identifying and mitigating undesired bias. And then uh, I will also discuss recent developments on transparency and explainability and algorithmic audit as well. So till then, thank you.